In circus, people think of like Cirque du Soleil and you have this image of the circus performer as, as being sort of like angelic or superhuman. It seems sort of unattainable and what Conundrum does is combine that level of technique with intimate personal views of performers. Even if the performer is up there just like having a catharsis, like having, it's almost like therapeutic for them, it feels like it does that work for the audience as well. We all get to heal together and process together and grieve together and, and all these things. The name threads, it means the threads that make up our ropes and it's also all these connections between us. I think about like mycelium networks in the forest, it's connecting, um, connecting the trees and the ecosystem. Seattle is a big rope town for circus, which is really interesting to me because it's a kind of niche apparatus. Our process thus far has been coming up with questions for each part of the show. Things like, how do we find each other again? Who do you put your trust in? How do you remember people who are no longer in your community or who are gone? And there are like moments of tension and moments that are more awkward than others or moments that we're like really focused on ourselves, but like we kind of break through that. The end goal is that there's this moment of hope of like, we really, really do find each other um, in the end. The medium is sort of the message in a way, just like we're cooperating, we're figuring out how to gracefully work together as a group. It's one of the things I love about circus. It's not metaphorical, we depend on each other we have to get our timing just right and uh, listen to each other. Sometimes somebody makes the call, they say hup, and that's, that means that we're all synced up or we all take a breath together. And that feels really connecting to me. I approach it in a similar way that I would with poetry. People read into things what they want to um, and there's some amount of like wiggle room within that. And as long as we're getting like the general understanding and feel to our audience, I'm happy with that. I feel like there's this kind of magic of mirror neurons where the audience also kind of gets grounded and feels what's going on for them too.